Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. This time we're going to be talking about the Savage Model 1907 32 ACP. This is made in a period when people were kind of still figuring out the whole semi-auto pistol thing, which means it has a number of rather unique features, not least of which is this, a 10 round double, double stack single feed magazine. And to the best of my knowledge, this is the first um, semi-automatic pistol with to incorporate this feature in a removable magazine in the butt of the gun. And uh, these were quite a popular gun, and they seem to work very well. And um, they were used, uh, they were primarily a civilian arm, although the French did order 40,000 of them during World War I, and uh, Portugal ordered about 1,100 of them for military use. And uh, these are distinguished by having a lanyard ring, and the Portuguese ones have grip mark, grips marked with their crest. Um, this gun, a lot of people will tell you, they made a 45 caliber version of this gun for the U.S. pistol trials. And that's not quite true. This is actually, the 32 is actually based on the 45 caliber trials gun, which came first. And um, <laughs> these were offered uh, in 32 initially, and a few years later they introduced them in 380 auto. And they were produced, I believe, pretty much through the 1920s. So there's quite a lot of them out there. And uh, they're really good, interesting little guns. Um, we're going to have to go to the tabletop to show you some of those unique features I was talking about. As befits a self-defense pistol of the era, it's quite compact, being six and a half inches long and a bit over four inches tall. And um, operation is pretty much what you would expect of a modern semi-automatic. You put in a magazine, rack the slide, and you're ready to go. There's a safety here, which this is the safe position, and it's pretty easy to remove from a firing grip. Sights are, as you would expect for a gun of its era, practically useless. Um, the rear sight, which is masked by this when the gun isn't ready to fire, um, is a very shallow, very narrow slot. And for all of that, the guns are accurate enough, but the sight picture leaves a lot to be desired. Let's talk about this thing. This looks like a hammer. It acts like a hammer, but it's not a hammer. It's the cocking lever for the striker, and you will note that when the gun is cocked, it goes with the slide. The magazine release is another unique feature that I do not enjoy. Pretty much the only easy way to use it is with your offhand, and it drops the magazine out very nicely. Trigger pull is not light, but very crisp with no over travel. Um, in this design, the spring is around the barrel. And uh, this is not a straight blowback gun, sort of. Savage insisted it had a locked breech. And you can see, if you look carefully in the injection port, the barrel twists ever so slightly as the slide begins to go back. Um, however, this is more of a delayed or hesitation blowback than any sort of true lock. And um, it's a trim, neat little pistol. It's very nice to shoot. I am not going to take it apart. <laughs> um, there are any number of videos like Ian's Forgotten Weapons that show you how these come apart. And it's a bit fussy and I just don't feel like it. But you can lock the slide back with the safety and that's used primarily for disassembly, although I suppose you could use it on loading, because when you release the safety, both the slide and the striker drop. I had not noticed that. The striker does not stay cocked. Unless it was already cocked. Okay, so it's not a safety issue, and it's not a de facto giggle switch. But, uh... 
These are very, very well made, very solid. And this example is in extremely good condition. Uh, it belonged to somebody's grandfather. And uh, it's just a nice little pistol. The grip angle is a little bit vertical for modern standards, but I find that the sights come up, such as they are, pretty easily and pretty nicely. And uh, these days, of course, these are a curiosity because nobody needs a mid-size 10-shot 32 ACP. And, of course, these haven't been made in pretty near a century. But uh, I always love them. It's a great little gun. And uh, I have I've thought about it, but they are not inexpensive, and I have really no use for it <laughs> other than just to have it and in my current financial conditions that's not a good enough reason to have a gun it's a handy compact nice to shoot little gun now I did mention the 45 caliber version of this which was a lot larger and um it did actually pretty well in the trials. It was one of the three finalists in the 19, well, the service trial, pistol trials that resulted in the adoption of the 1911. Um, but its deficits were, it was, first of all, when what is essentially a blowback gun in 45 caliber, recoil, as you could imagine, was significantly more than in the locked reach designs. And it wasn't quite as reliable and things of that nature and uh, the 150 some of those that were produced were returned to Savage after the trials and sold in the civilian market and are now worth a bloody fortune as you might imagine. Uh, the 1907 soldiered on through the 1920s and you know it was just a good solid gun and a pretty popular choice. Uh, the 10 round magazine did provoke an interesting response from the public. Now, you have to remember that when this gun was introduced, the guns that people were familiar with were five and six shot revolvers. And some people with nothing better to do were outraged at the idea of a concealed carry self-defense pistol with 10 shots. Blood will run in the streets. I mean, it was just, there was a bit of an uproar about it. So I guess some things never change. Anyway, thanks to Jake and Karen for letting me show you this gun. And um, thanks especially to my Patreon supporters and other channel benefactors. If you'd like to join my Patreon supporters, there's a link in the description below. So, uh, I, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And uh, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.